Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to have a look at the data graphics feature. So you can see on the screen, I have a car and some data information with a little tick, which represent the car being sold. Now, if I click onto the car, you can see that I've defined some shape data where I've filled these fields in and these fields are displayed as part of the data graphic attached to this and the status field is saying sold if I change that to on offer I think that's one of the categories it changes to a yellow symbol meaning it's not sold and if I put that to available it's um, got the red symbol so they're probably the wrong way around I probably should have that as sold and now what I want to do is recreate this so when you first bring these shapes onto the screen so if I bring this shape again onto the screen it hasn't got any shape data so you have to create the shape data so this is being created by me so I'm going to do this I'm just going to copy this a couple of times so I can do three at once so I've got three cars like that so if I highlight all these three cars, I can then do the shape data. If I define the shape data for these three cars, so if I right click and go define shape data, I don't want these default ones. So I'm just going to delete these off. You can keep them on. It's up to you. So new. So the first one will be type. It's going to be text. So new. Second one's going to be year, slightly different order. I can stay as text as well. New model, new, and then here we go. So cost price, typo, cost price, new, sale price, and status. And Cost price actually should be a currency, so I need to change that. Currency, sale price, currency. These are the other options you've got there. And I need another one, which is the, have I got the year? Did I have the year? Yeah, I did. So that's okay. So now these fill in at the top. So if I just close this off, you um, can reactivate that window by going to data and shape data window and then that comes up so for the first car there it is second car it's still there third car it's still there you now need to fill it in BMW 3 20 20 20 model saloon cost price 30,000 cheap sale pr price 40,000 even cheaper so status I'm going to say it is available I could put color and other things in there but that's that one this one is going to be an Audi 2019 model still a saloon cost price 40,000 even cheaper still sale price 45,000 and status on offer just so we've got a different symbol and then the last one we'll have a Mazda year 2020 model saloon Cost price eighteen thousand. Sale price twenty thousand. Better value status sold. Okay, so I've got all my data on these three cars. So if I can click on these three cars, you can see the information coming up. So now I want to do this data graphic. Now I already have a data graphic created, obviously for this one. So if I click on that one. It's going to put some fields in there but the fields are not the same so 
what I want to do is just create a new one, a new uh, data graphic, and then you've got this box comes up where you've got new item, and then you can position it, different positions. You can change all this later, which I will do, but let's just go for a new item. So you choose a field. So we're going to start at the top, which is going to be type. So we want a type and that just wants to be text. Now you've got these options to display it slightly different, um, lots of them. Bearing in mind it's going to take up space, so I'll use this option. And you can change the font size and things like that. And then if you take this tick off, you can change the default. So it's on far right and middle. I do actually want it to be there actually, so I'm going to leave it like that. I can come back and change it later if I don't like it. Click OK to that. So then new new item is going to be year. Next one down is going to be year. And again, that's going to be text. And I'm going to leave everything the same using the default. OK. And then just speed it up a little bit. Next one is model. You don't have to put all of these in. You can just pick and choose which ones you want. But I am going to put them all in. So next one is cost price. And that's going to be text as well. Okay, and sale price, last one, sale price, text, click OK to that, and then OK, yes, and there it fills it in. So the only one we haven't done is a status field, because I want it to have a little tick like that. So if I click on this one, go back into the data graphics, edit this one that I've just created, so edit data graphic as opposed to creating a new one, new item, so I'm going for status, now I want this to be a, not a data bar, not text, an icon set, and then you've got lots of different icon sets, so you can come down and pick one of these, you don't have to fill them all in, obviously there's more so I've got that there, I need three things, so I probably do, do need to go for this, something like this one, so I will go for that one. So status, so I'll change it now to the correct way around, so if it's got a red cross on it, it's sold, available, and on offer. Like so, that's what I want. Um, it's in the same position. Okay, where do I want this? I want it at the very top, above the shape, like this one. And I want it in the middle, center. That's it. Everything else is okay. So I'll click OK to that. And OK again. And I get my little tick box on there, like so. So this one's available. Now on this one, if I, I don't need to redo this because I've already got it selected. So if I just highlight these two and go to this option, I can quickly add the data graphic to them. And you can see the, that's on offer, that's sold. And you can see that there. So that's how the data graphic works. And it's just a, a little example. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. And I thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.